In this issue of Ningjian Interview, we continue to explore Lei Jiancheng's second decade of hiking, focusing on the hardships he faced and his enduring life goals. After another 10 years, Lei Jiancheng set foot in Lop Nur once again. Remarkably, from the Tang Dynasty to the present, aside from Xuanzang, who passed through during that era, Lei is the only person to have walked out of Lop Nur alive. Unlike Xuanzang's route, which had water sources, Lei's path was entirely different and far more treacherous. During his hikes, Lei carried a razor blade in his emergency bag to treat wounds. He had to use this blade on multiple occasions. For instance, when someone deliberately let a dog attack him, Lei, fearing infection, used the blade to cut open the wound, poured wine on it, and cleaned it with a cotton ball to treat the puncture wounds. Lei Jiancheng's legs and body were bitten several times by venomous snakes. He would tie his legs with tape, dig out the flesh around the wound, squeeze out the venom and blood, and then bandage the wound. Although these treatments were crude, in that environment, there was no better option. When water was scarce in the no man's land of the Gobi Desert, he would make a small incision on his finger with a razor blade and moisten his lips with blood. His emergency kit also contained some basic medicines, like gastrointestinal, cold, and anti-inflammatory drugs. During these 10 years of hiking, he often had to eat unhygienic and expired food, knowing it would make him sick, but realizing that not eating could mean death. Reflecting on these experiences now, each time his life hung in the balance, it was a test of both body and will. Lei Diancheng held a simple, honest belief in survival, he wanted to live. After 10 years of preparation and 10 years of hiking, Lei Diancheng dedicated 16 years to spreading China's culture of environmental protection, folk customs, and adventure. He experienced the 1981 disaster, faced countless wild animal attacks, endured dozens of mudslides, sandstorms, and avalanches, and survived 19 life-threatening robberies. Although he achieved his dream, he recognized that life is both tenacious and fragile. After these experiences, Lei Jiancheng believes nothing is more important than life. His journey took 10 years and 20 days, during which he filmed and collected photos of the sky, a million-word diary, costumes from various Chinese ethnic groups, geological samples, animal bone fossils, and ancient relics and books. In 2009, he opened the Lei Jiancheng 10-Year Hiking Personal Exhibition Hall in Beijing to display these. In 2010, the exhibition hall was approved by the Beijing Municipal Party Committee as a patriotism education base. On July 13, 2001, Beijing won the bid to host the 29th Summer Olympics. Lei Jiancheng quickly made a flag featuring the national flag, the Olympic rings, the Olympic emblem, and 2008 stones he had walked. The postmarks from various post offices are among the treasures of his exhibition hall. Another treasure is a national flag Lei Jiancheng carried during his 10 years of hiking. After traveling across China, he spent two to three years finding a master sculptor. He eventually invited Mr. Zheng Chenggang, director and professor at the Sculpture Department of Tsinghua University, vice chairman of the Chinese Artists Association, committee member of the China National Academy of Painting, and vice president of the Sculpture Academy. Zheng spent four and a half years creating two sets of sculptures representing 56 ethnic groups. One set of sculptures was donated by Lei Jiancheng to the People's Government of Yuli County, Baingalan Mongolian Autonomous Prefecture, Xinjiang, and is now displayed in Luabu Village. Over the past decade, he has focused his energy on the exhibition hall, using all his past income for its upkeep. Lei Diancheng explained that several reasons motivated him to build his own exhibition hall. He did not want his collection, especially his many books containing unique folklore stories, to remain stored away. He aimed to use the exhibition hall to reach a wider audience, teenagers, students, entrepreneurs, and various groups, to help them understand the rich history of China's 9.6 million square kilometers of land, including its humanities, nature, folk customs, and ecology. Lei Diancheng's exhibition hall is organized into themes, environmental protection, nationality, 
and his personal adventures. The places he visited are inaccessible by conventional means of transportation. Over the past decade, he has traversed these regions step by step. His deep love for China's 9.6 million square kilometers, with its 5,000 years of rich cultural history, is reflected in the hall. Each scene tells a story, and every piece of land holds a piece of the past. Lei Diancheng is eager to share this profound and simple passion with others, inviting them to experience the charm and warmth of the land together.